Welcome back. Zanzi Fundis, don't change your screen. Don't change your screen. We know we're not in studio. We decided to come and touch hollowed ground, <laughs> hybrid turf. <laughs> Lufuno, we spoke about your team going to Turkey. Others came back by wheelchair. They came back. Yanga, Shyambama, Cox. Maposa. Your beloved Mamelodi Sundowns traveled. Yeah, we they went to Austria. Um, it wasn't really expected. Austria is not a football country, chief. Um, <laughs> yeah, but but look, uh, there seems to be a trend of 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 going to Europe, and I think preparation wise, it it it, it offers teams that in Africa an opportunity to play and, and engage themselves against these big teams, you know, or become a central point to attract these bigger teams to go because you can't expect all these teams to come all the way this side. So travel-wise, it makes sense for everyone as a meeting ground. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of changes and I think that's what I'm happy about. The lineup was not there. You, you can see that the objective was to give as many players a chance as possible. If Mutuara banka a chance, you must know what problem. I mean, you saw the youngsters won't go see. With that said, and the new technical team at Sundowns, what's your feeling? I mean, now you got four shows in there. So four shows are coaching. Chameleon is gone, Chief. Yeah, Chameleon is gone and we're here on the streets, but you crocodile if it's So let, let's see what the crocodile is going to say. But nah, nah. Now watching from, from, from afar, I'm, I'm happy with what uh, Mangoba is doing and the senior coach, the assistant, mm. it's, it's coming, all right? As Gok said, they went there to just to go get a feel of how far they are. You know, I think Sundowns is one of the teams that's really consistent in terms of keeping the number of players there, that group, you know, it's not that dismantled like mm. a lot of teams, you know, or starting from over. It's just re redefining the whole thing, bringing in new players and phasing them in. So it was a great tour for, for Sundowns. And the, the great thing about this is that they went to countries, to a country whereby it's, it's a bit warmer. Mm -hmm. And by the time they come back, the league starts. Okay, Lufuno. Yes, my brother. Based on what you saw of Sundowns, mm. now we know that Chameleon is now left, it's now at Weidat. Does it say, as the opposition, does it say they are still the same or you are seeing some chinka in the armor that are more little token and the... No, but to be, to be frank, I mean, uh, Mangoba has been in Sundowns for more than 10 years. Pito left and left him, uh, mm. Rulani left and left him. So he knows what Sundowns is all about. He knows what Sundowns is expecting. So he, he he's apparently being going to be a head coach or he's going to be the leading <laughs> of the technical team. So, <laughs> so uh, we don't know because uh, it's not clear. But all I'm saying is there. He's, mm. He was there before. No, now look for the team sheet. Um, yeah, so, 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 what does the so, team sheet say? For me, it just says that he's going to be doing the, the, the talks and before the game and after the game. So meaning that he'll be leading the team. So he, he's the longest serving uh, technical team. Mm. Sundowns. Mm. So I don't expect anything, I don't expect any changes as how Sundowns will approach their game and how they will play. Yes, maybe in terms of how he believes, the way he coaches the team will, might be different to what Rulani used to do. But, uh, you know, the, the DNA of the team will remain because the team itself, it's a team that, you know, uh, it's, it's in a habit of winning. And, and to, to remove that, it, it will take very uh, long time. Cox, from what Sundowns has done in terms of mm. the recruitment that they've done, do you, does it give you confidence to say this thing that we have being the, the premiership, we can defend it, be the AFL, we can defend it, we can go for this big thing called the Champions League or the trophies that come in between. Are you happy with the, with the way Sundowns has done business in the transfer I'm, window? The recruitment process, when you look at it, does not necessarily say to you we are bolstering to win the Champions League. So that tells you already they have confidence in the current squad that they have to take them through the finish line. Because Bolstarinha Sundowns is looking ahead and looking at dominating the league in future years. I mean, you look at players that they've signed 24 below, you know, these are players that should take them long and they've given them long-term contracts. Mm. So it's not necessarily for Bostara squad as a Champions League because the Champions League squad was ready. It, they were the man in which they lost the Champions League I see, I see, I see. It's not by far, you know. It, 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 it's, it's small coaching. margins. It's how you just have to tweak here and there. You tweak a squad and how they play. So I, it's it's looking forward in terms of saying we want to dominate this thing that we have already for five years and integrate these younger, smaller, younger boys in the in the fray. 
with all that said and done, 10 out of 10 to the Orlando Pirates admin. He then put, they put out, or oh, not me say he, we don't know. He, <laughs> the team put out. <laughs> Others went, they came with a flight, they went to Spain. Padre in Spain, they played Sevilla. Your thoughts on that? Look, uh, great tour they had. Amy. Because it's quality opposition. Yeah, you, you talk of Sevilla, you talk of Granada. Those are those are big teams in, in Spain. Mm. And you can't, you cannot disregard what it does for, for, for players. The confidence, the play, the experience in its entirety. It then tells you that Padre, Padre wants to challenge. And I think that that is the one thing that he really needs to, to push this coming season. Can he really push a Sundowns team? But for me, he needs to beat those points that there is a 60 mark, 60 mark gap. And then maybe we can talk about him winning the league. At Pirates, there's a new dancer. We've done a lot of uh, stuff here on the show. Lufuno, the white says you are the closest one next to 45. So show us some moves like... No, 45 will it. 45 can... Much I've had. Much I've had. Yeah, 45. But, but the way we, that but, Pirate but, has done business yeah. this season... Yeah, it's, look, it's, he's got a Champions League uh, pedigree. He's played for Pedro. He came in, we saw him when he was playing, um, you know, in the preseason, the movement, you know, the assist. So for me, I think it's one player that will add another dimension to that uh, Pirates attack. Cox, Mapagani are saying, whatever is that love does, we come in to fetch because that is the mindset of Orlando Pirates. Mm. They want this trophy that sits at Loftus at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too far ahead for them to get it. Yes, they should come for that, that's, that's good. But they should try and close the gap because now when you go and look for that 70 plus mark point, it's going to be a lot. And as he said, play around the 65, 64, win your games against this very same Sundowns that you want to beat because they haven't beaten them in a long time in the league. Mm. You know? And that tells you, that's where you will close these gaps. You know, close the gaps when you, and I've seen, last time they came to Loftus, they got a draw. Um, that's something to build on, you know, mm. they, but they need to guard against playing them in, 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 in Orlando because but you get a league game, you know, so yeah. Before Otola Pil, uh, correction, Liki Ekukwa or Sundown say, I saw, I saw Totola like anyone. Kapila, Kapila, I saw Totola like anyone. Oh, it has been said. Some of us who have touched that trophy called the DSTV Premiership, we've touched a trophy that has not been touched by most chairmen, but one chairman. Correction. What correction? We are not playing for DSTV. No, but we just We are playing for a trophy. For the Bedway Trophy. Yeah, it's a new game. Handsome together. It's okay. It's okay, but this is a new one. So can we acknowledge it? They don't have it. don't have it. So let me ask this way. Did your team win the DSTV Premiership? Uh, no. Okay, so so let's see. Um, <laughs> but fair to with all that said, let's go take a break because Lufuno now wants to come. Ah, oh, no, let's go drink water. <laughs>